Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you the laces and doilies that I got from ks4u.net and that is Julie and she had a YouTube sale recently and um, so I got a few things and I wanted to share that with you. Right here is her doily pack and I can't remember prices, but Julie's prices are just out of this world. She has the best prices. Oh, look at these cute little baby ones of anybody um, on laces. And I've shopped around quite a bit and she does have the best prices and she ships pretty quickly. So, these doilies are perfect for making flowers and for backgrounds. I actually have a tag I'm making today that that one will be good for. Actually, most of these will be. Oh, look at that. Um, I can't remember for the life of me how much her doily pack is when she does her live sales, but it's very cheap. Even though I have tons of doilies, look at that one. I um, I find them cheap at estate sales, but her price is cheap enough that I like the selection of all the different ones. I'm putting some aside. Oh, look at that. I like that. Nice and thin. That one looks like a sun. These are so adorable. These are great for projects. I should be leaving more out so that I use them. Nice blue one, dusty, dusty blue. I like that they're neutral colors and that you only have a color, a couple of colored ones mixed in here. I like that one. I like the thin ones. There's a blue one. That's nice. Oh, that one's really pretty. I'm leaving that out. I want to just to look at it. I love these doilies. But yeah, if you go to estate sales, you'll buy tablecloths and you cut out the doilies out of them. Here's a nice big one. These are perfect for the covers of journals. I don't know where I'm gonna put it either. I have a drawer that's full of doilies and then I have some on a shelf and all in my china cabinet. And I honestly don't know where I'm going to put these. I need to start using my stuff. And that's my new motto for 2024 is to use my stuff up because I'm buying and not using, not using enough. That's pretty. Oh, I love this one. That's a pretty color. I like that green. I'm so thankful there's only a few colored ones in here. You can always dye these too if you want a color like pink. Oh, that's a nice one. So is that one. That one's nice. Yeah, so it's been tough raising the puppy. We've had him three weeks now, as of yesterday. I like that. And he's potty trained for pooping. He'll let me know when he has to go potty for poop. I got training bells on the door. And he will ring those. And if I don't come calling, he'll come barking at me. But as far as going pee, he's not telling me. And I just don't know what else to do. I praise him and give him treats when he goes potty outside. But I'm having to take him every half hour. 
because that's how often he's peeing. Oh, look at this. And um, that's a gorgeous applique. And we can reuse that bag. And you can cut this up. That's nice. That has to go with my appliques. But yeah, so he's not peeing in this cage. He, he got trained pretty quick on that. Yeah, I like that. Another nice applique. I have a tint. Oh, look at this color. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I don't remember what I get. I never do with anything. Look at this piece. This is beautiful. Let me make sure I got the right side. Yeah, Be a beautiful background piece. I'm doing a video. That's okay. Yeah, that's beautiful. That would be nice to lay here when I do journal flip throughs. It's huge. Look at this. And her prices are great. I'm talking a dollar twenty-five, two dollars for a yard. Whoops, sorry. So you can't you can't beat her prices. And this is a small order for me. Nice ruffle. It's a nice piece. Nice applique for front of a journal. Love all the crystals in there and the beadwork. I'll text you in a minute. Babe, love you too. And then we have this nice applique. Sorry about that. That's a pretty applique too. Yeah, sorry for the interruption. I didn't realize he was leaving when I started the video. Usually I tell him. I think it's this side. Another nice applique. Great pieces. Nice piece of lace here. I like that. That's pretty with the flowers. Looks like more eyelet ruffle. Oh my gosh, I can't open it. No. Yeah, another eyelet ruffle. These are good to, good to use for shabby chic type projects. This is my last one. And then I wanted to show you something else. dangles I love me some dangles and I don't have any so I had to get dangle and I probably got two yards it looks like and I'm sure this could be dyed to make them some of it pink I don't see why not but isn't that pretty I love it lots there I need some dangles. So I went to an estate sale, so I just wanted to show you a couple of things I got from the estate sale. I got this. This is also a nice backdrop. And then I got a couple of pillowcases. They were a dollar each, so I only grabbed one of each. I just love that. These are gonna be beautiful on some tags. And it's nice and thick, nice and cottony. Make tags out of that. And then of course there's enough for a journal cover. Get that right in the center of the journal. That nice big one there. A 
And then I got this one. This one is much thinner cotton. But I thought that was pretty as well. So that is my share for today. Go check Julie out. It is KS, the number four, and then the letter U dot net. And I will have her link down below. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a great Saturday and I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.